Welcome to another episode of The Founder. I'm Tarsha Ferris and today we are at our venue sponsor, The Office Colombo. Today we have with us Heshan Bisilva. Hi Heshan, how are you doing today? Hi Tarshi. So tell me a little bit about yourself and about your company. Just talk to me a bit about it. Hi, my name is Heshan Bisilva. I'm Executive uh, Director at Alliance Agencies Limited. Um, Alliance Agencies is, is uh, a company that was founded over 60 years ago by mm -hmm. my great-grandfather. Uh, we operate in a few main areas of business. Um, printing equipment, print consumables, um, the agricultural space, mm -hmm. then we do real estate development, mm -hmm. we have a consumer line, yeah. and our newest venture is Alliance Auto Care. Mm -hmm. um, prior to moving to Sri Lanka, I, I um, uh, studied and, and worked in the United States, uh, in Boston. I went to university at Assumption University. Um, I got my bachelor's degree in, um, uh, and then once, once I left, I, I worked for an uh, uh, IT company mm -hmm. called Matusa, uh, where I spent about seven or eight years in different marketing roles. Um, I moved back to Sri Lanka about four years ago mm -hmm. and uh, joined the family business. Mm -hmm. um, I joined Alliance Agencies. Um, and then uh, we, we evaluated a lot of projects to expand the company. And Alliance Auto Care was one of the one projects of the, yeah. we ended up with. Um, Alliance Auto, Auto Care is, is a little bit of a passion project for us. Uh, we operate in a few, uh, we operate in, in, in two areas. Uh, one is product sales and one is detailing services. Uh, we represent two brands, uh, one called Auto Glim from uh, Britain and the other one called Menzana from Germany. Mm -hmm. um, Autoglim has been around for a long time. It's one of the premier brands in the car care space. Um, it is a British manufacturer, like I said. Um, it has royal warrants, uh, which means that um, Autoglim is uh, the sole car care product used by the Queen of England and the royal family mm -hmm. to detail their entire official fleet of vehicles. And then Menzana is, is a a product from Germany. As many German products, it's a high-end product. Um, they have a line of products for car care. They also have a line of products for marine. Mm -hmm. So to detail your boats, jet skis, and things like that. And they also have a line of industrial products. So uh, you can, uh, for jewelry, uh, polishing of jewelry, yeah. for, for wood polishing, and stainless steel. We are currently in the process of, of uh, launching Autoglim's signature product, Carbon Shield. Okay. Carbon Shield is, is a revolutionary product that helps you protect your car for a period up to four years uh, mm -hmm. with very low maintenance costs. Yeah. So tell me, now, you know, many people have good ideas, right? But they are they're not able to like practice it due to various reasons. Mm -hmm. how, did, how were you able to get uh, your idea into practice? Yes, it was a it was a long road coming coming to this point. Uh, we we one of the strategies we use is we surround ourselves with uh, employees and co-workers and uh, family that know the product well in and out, and that has been one of our most successful things. They have been able to to guide us and and help the, the business uh, come to where it yeah. is today. So talk to me a bit about, you know, the challenges you have faced. Not everyone has a smooth run throughout their yes. businesses. Just talk to me a bit about your challenges. So, uh, Tarshi, we have had many challenges. As, as, as you know, uh, we started this company less than six months ago and it was during COVID. And uh, we had challenges from uh, import restrictions. Mm -hmm. We had challenges with uh, long lead times to get the product from Germany mm -hmm. and the UK to Sri Lanka. We also had challenges with very high freight costs. Mm -hmm. um, as you might know, freight costs have gone up over 150% in the last uh, one and a half years due to COVID. We also had uh, a big challenge uh, because of the present situation mm -hmm. with the Sri Lankan government. Um, due to COVID, uh, or r things related to COVID, uh, the Sri Lankan government is having a lack of foreign currency. Mm -hmm. And because of that, we had a very difficult time uh, finding the foreign currency to, to import our products into Sri Lanka. So everyone has their different way of marketing, right? Like, you know, social media, mm -hmm. word of mouth. Yes. What was your strategy? 
Um, one of our strongest marketing tools right now has been word of mouth. Uh, people like to uh, work with companies and products that they know and they're familiar with. When, when a colleague or a, co um, a family member tells you about this great service or this great product they've used, you're more likely to, to try it yeah, out. And, to trust and the product. Exactly, yeah. to trust it. And Sri Lanka is a small community mm -hmm. and everybody seems to know each yeah. other. And, and that, that has been a strong tool yeah. for us. Uh, social media also has been a very strong tool for us. Uh, we are on Instagram, we are on Facebook. We also have TikTok videos. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a good tool uh, organically and inorganically to get the name out there, mm -hmm. the brand out yeah. there and start building awareness. Um, unfortunately, our company has been, uh, we opened it uh, during COVID, so we haven't been able to do product launches, brand events because of the regulations around COVID and mm -hmm. all of that. Yeah. Talk to me about how you would define the word success. Um, success to me is, is very simple. Success to me is when you're doing something you're passionate and mm -hmm. you love. Um, uh, it gets you out of bed in the morning, it, you're doing something uh, that empowers you and uh, helps the country and helps uh, people around you grow. Okay, so, you know, if you weren't doing what you are doing today, what do you think you would want to do? <laughs> that's, a, that's a good question. Uh, Alliance Agencies is a company that I grew up with uh, right throughout my life and, and if I wasn't working at Alliance Agencies, I might have been spending a little bit more time on the beach. Um, just relaxing. Just relaxing, <laughs> having a good beer. Yeah. Um, and also maybe uh, doing a few community projects to help uh, all the, the, the issues and social issues in Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. so, you know, due to COVID, you know, there's so many frustrations, right? What yeah. has been yours being a startup business like this? Um, like I said, one of the main main uh, issues has been for us is the importation of goods into Sri Lanka. Yeah. Um, the lack of foreign currency has been a major issue. Uh, uh, banks require you to, to have um, performer invoices in uh, three, four weeks time approval before they can import mm -hmm. the goods. They have to find the funding to, to send uh, principals. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, once the principals gets it, uh, our last shipment was delayed almost six, seven weeks okay. because um, the, the ports in UK and Europe are congested, yeah. so they couldn't find vessel space to, to send it to mm -hmm. Sri Lanka. Yeah. So, you know, like I said before, not everyone has had a smooth run in their business. So yeah. what was like, you know, before you were able to succeed, like, you know, you might have had a failure. What was that for you like? Um, don't like to think of it as a failure. Mm -hmm. um, over the past one and a half years, two years, we have been evaluating a lot of different products, services, companies that, that we wanted to bring to the market. Yeah. And how, how I look at it is if you do your due diligence, if you do your uh, market research, um, and if you pick the correct service or product to bring to the market, that, that's, not, that's not a failure. Mm -hmm. You are uh, pushing yourself to to succeed before you fail. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, Lance Auto Care is is a is a company and products we went with, and mm -hmm. so far it has been uh, been a success. Success, yeah, that's good to hear. Yeah. Yeah. So, tell me, like, what motivates you? Like, what tells you, okay, I need to get out of bed today, and I'm going to get this done. Oh, it's it's very simple for me. Uh, for me, it, it's uh, it's a passion. Um, you take it Alliance Agencies or Alliance Auto Care now, I love what I do. Um, Alliance Agencies, I've grown up with the company. It's, it's something that, that I always wanted to, to work in and always wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And in Alliance Auto Care, it's, it's something that I love doing. I love working with yeah. cars, I, I love uh, detailing them. And, also, the other, the other thing that, that helps me get up is that we are empowering, we have, we have a lot of employees in mm -hmm. the group and we're helping them yeah. grow and, and helping them uh, uh, push themselves further along mm -hmm. as well. So now that you are your own boss, do you think, would you consider working under anybody else? Or? Yes, um, being your own boss is not all the glitz and glamour mm -hmm. it is. You have to take care of your employees in the good times and in okay. the bad times. Yeah. So there is a, there is a lot of uh, responsibility on your shoulders. And 
and I love doing that. It's, mm -hmm. it's that that's what makes, in in my opinion, that's what makes makes a good boss. Mm -hmm. And I like pushing my employees. I like to to uh, to help them succeed mm -hmm. in in their personal life and in their professional life. So I I, uh, I don't think I I would work for somebody else. So now you're comfortable the way I'm, you I'm are. Comfortable right yeah. now, yes. Hypothetically speaking, if you were able to have dinner with the founder of your liking, who would that be? <laughs> it's um, interesting you asked me that question. Um, I think it would be Mark Cuban. Mm -hmm. He's such an interesting guy. He he started his business from the ground up. Yeah. Um, he he worked hard. Uh, he has a very nice uh, work-life balance. He's, he does what he's passionate about. He he also works really hard to to make his businesses succeed. Okay. So I think it would be Mark Cuban yeah. that, that I would like to have dinner with and meet one day. Yeah. So you know, there's so many people trying to start their own business, and like, what's the advice you would like to give them? Uh, one little bit of advice I would like to give any startup is do your due diligence. It's very important to, to learn all the regulatory information, all the uh, uh, product knowledge, uh, so that when you finally go to market with whatever the product or service it might be, mm -hmm. you have a leg up on, on everything that, that's, that's happening because mm -hmm. you know everything about your product or service. Mm -hmm. So, Heshan, that was, it was a pleasure talking to you today. Thank you. That was Heshan De Silva. And do go check out his company and what they have to offer for you. See you next time on an episode of The Founder.